Alright, so first off, you're gonna run to this ladder, jump onto it, and don't worry about anyone detecting you, cause there aren't gonna be any guards for a while. That's all civilians. Anyways, go down this trapdoor, crawl through the crawl space, and then climb up the pipe over here. And then you're gonna go under the zip wire and then jump so that you'll zip line across the wire. And then you're gonna move through the house. And then don't go too far into that room. Just go this way. And preferably turn off your night vision goggles so you can see the flames better. And then also move slowly. And then at this pipe, you jump onto it and then move across. And then once you've made it past the pit, drop down and then go through this hallway. And then find the store, go up the stairs. And while avoiding these fires. And then go into this room right here. And then talk to the contact. And then you're gonna open this door, and there's gonna be a sky window. So then shoot out the sky window, and then wait a few seconds for the smoke to go out. And then you can run across the room and find the door on the right side. And now you've made it past the fiery building portion. Now over here you're just gonna run across the platform and then jump onto this other platform. At this point you're gonna move as quietly and slowly as possible so you don't alert the guard speaking on his phone. You can sit here and listen to his conversation. Or you can go right to him, and then just grab him. First you're gonna want to take out this light so you'll have a place to hide. And then you're gonna want to put his body over here in, in a place that has light so that the other guard will see it. The other guard comes out eventually, he sees the body and then he runs over to it, which then you can sneak up behind him and then wabam, both of them. And then once you're inside the building, you can use these glass bottles to take out the lights if you don't want to use more bullets. Might as well take out all the lights out here. Really make sure that the alarms don't sound. Now you can also pick up the bodies and carry them into the dark places. But this is quicker. And now you're gonna run along the house and then find this bathroom which has a first aid kit and take it and then go to the other room nearby. Behind this painting there's going to be a computer with a red screen and when the computer has a red screen that means you have to use it to advance in the mission. And now after you've used it, you've obtained the code for the door. So the entry is called. Any reason the CIA wouldn't know about this. And then go out the door. And zip line over to this other roof. Away. Check your ops then you're gonna run over to this door and then jump at the pole. Be sure to save right here because you're not always gonna make it every time. You might miss the pole somehow. And then go down this trap. And then Fisher. now get your lockpick ready because you're gonna lockpick this door. As as There's pants. nothing in here Not to collect though, so just go ahead and unlock the door. Do 
gotta do to find those missing spooks. And then once you're out here, there's gonna be two guards kind of far away. You're gonna jump down what here. Do you think you're doing? Prison cells and then you're gonna slowly go down the stairs. The Slabs are going for cheap. Now, yeah. the thing I is, you can actually all jump across this wall and then hang on to the ledge. But sometimes Please. it doesn't Nothing. always work. And then you might get seen. So instead, it's better to go in here and collect this glass bottle. Which then you'll slowly go back up the stairs. Weren't you listening? The rent's gone up in jail. And then you you're gonna tonight? use the that's glass free. bottle to you knock out the guard tonight? that's It'll further away from Larry. you. But please, I don't. I don't. Oh, and then sneak up behind the other guard. Oh, and then whack him. And then go back into the darkness. Because this other guard's gonna come back. And now he sees the bodies. So then if this other guard gets too close, do a headshot on him. Oh. And then you're gonna wanna take out this light. Now all the bodies are in the dark, so you can proceed to the next section. You're gonna keep running along this alley and then go up these stairs. There aren't any guards in this area yet, but there's gonna be one after you open the gate. And, and to Hello? open the gate, well, first, you might as well take out these two lights because the gate's where the guard's gonna come. And then you're gonna crawl into here. And then use the computer in here, but also take the ammo and the two med kits. You use this computer and then it opens the gate. Yeah, take anything else that's in here. Two med kits and one ammo box. And now a guard comes out through this gate and he's pretty easy to get past, so just walk through the gate like this. There's gonna be a civilian right here. Take him out. And again, make sure his body's in a dark shadow. The other guard's not gonna come around here anytime soon. So just go ahead, proceed forward, and then right here at the bush wall, there's gonna be another guard. You can use a soda can to distract him. Very odd. Apparently it didn't work this time, so just take him out the normal way. And then, you're gonna run through here, take out this next light, cause there's gonna be another guard at the end of this alley. And now after this guard walks through the gate, you're gonna take out this light. The guard's gonna come back. And then take him out. Yep, and then again, go into a dark place, and wabam. And now there's not gonna be any more guards until the next Hello? checkpoint. Who's there? Only civilians. Then you climb up on top of this dumpster and then do a wall jump to go over this brick wall. Which at this point the game saves. And then... There's a few glass bottles up here. But you can also look in your notes to get the code for this door. Which is 5929. So enter that code in. And then open the door. And yeah, there's Who gonna be this guard. To Try to keep distance from him and then wait for him to go in through that door. 
which then he'll get to his office computer. And then you're gonna slowly walk up towards that window and then enter into the door nearby. But yeah, the guard's gonna look left and right sometimes, so beware of that. Turn the lights off. This hey, is one of the best way to attract guards and lure them. And then sneak up behind him and whack. Turn the lights off and then there's gonna be another guard. Actually two, there's gonna be a scientist guy and an armed guard. You can take out this light. Now that voice you've just heard was the scientist. Er, I think that's what he is. Yeah, you can also shoot the door to try to alert the other armed guard. But the bullet missed for some reason because the, hey, the horrible off, accuracy in this game. Yeah, once this guy comes in and tries to turn the light on, just sneak up behind him and then whack. Uh. Well, the other armed guard doesn't come out as long as you're not alerting him. So you can just go ahead and go in here and then go into this room but watch out for the security camera. Because if that goes off, the other armed guard is going to come after you. Go I've near the bodies and yeah. Rest in peace. Cut out and now you're going to come back outside. And go the other way. Good thinking. We'll track the subdermals from the video go up these stairs. Surveillance room is on the top floor. Now there's going to be a front desk guy and some random civilian. Wait for the civilian to come up close to this booth, which then try to sneak around by going right here. I'd like to talk to your superior. Perhaps I can and help you. Just keep I walking along here. I'm all there is. But once How you get to this light like spot, to you're gonna be seen. See but then just continue to sneak past them. Then go to the store. Slowly walk up or crouch up the stairs. There's gonna be two guards in here, but they're too busy on their computer, so you could just Sneak up behind them and then whack them like this. Do the same to this other guard. Now the surveillance room is going to be behind this door and there's a guard in here too. Move as slowly as possible. Try to get into the gap. And then boom use the computer and now you just have to make Great it work, to the front door the now. there that's our guy we got him red handed can you run his face through echelon already on it but at this hey, point the other guard's going to be walking Eight, around four, searching eight, for you two, one, four. fantastic Fisher, and now he's coming this way so prepare to headshot him ah! well I've managed to screw up the perfect staff and no health loss. Ended up actually losing a little health, but now here we are. <laughs>